What's going on? It's your boy D Nels at AllHipHop.com, man. And I got I got a very familiar face in the building today. Yeah. Very familiar Shit. face, man. But in, in case they've been under a rock, yeah, man. who am I sitting in front of? Are you sitting in front of Smrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
ask him a couple of questions, you know what I mean, post it online, all the blogs would take it because, you know what I mean, content rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, they got Young Jeezy talking about this, or they got, you know, you know, uh, Busta Rhymes speaking on this, or whatever the case may be, like, you know what I mean? So, you know, just interviews in general just started to, like, you know, lose value to me. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't potent, like, how it was when, you know, a YouTube wasn't around and, you know, you know, people didn't have access to, like, you know what I mean, all these different artists. But um, when it came to, like, the freestyle battling and, like, you know, all the battle rap, that was a particular piece of content that could never be recreated or, like, that was something that people could appreciate and it was, it's history. Right. It's documented history because it's like a boxing match. Once, you know, two people go at it, you know, in a ring, that's is it's documented and you know that's what it is. So you know, I just wanted to uh, just raise the value of the art form of battle rap, organize it, bring these guys up, raise the production level, bring these guys in bigger venues, and bigger arenas, and basically you know build a movement where people could appreciate coming, seeing dudes go at it round for round lyrically. Now. Talk about the first battle that made you feel like, all right, listen, I got something with this battle rap thing. Oh, I'm going to keep pumping this battle rap thing. Um, me, personally, it was the, the Caught My Tins When J-Mills and Murder Mook battle. That was Absolutely. like my, one of my battles that I can Absolutely. recall that caught my attention to have me coming back for that more was every the first, time. That was the first battle round for round that you know I serviced on the Smack DVD. Mm -hmm. you know, And that was the birth of like the interest of what this battle rap culture no battle as being you know um there was battle rap before the smack dvd but those battles before the smack dvd was like basically on beat you understand um like eight mile you know you go on stage yo they throw a beat on you rhyme then the other person they throw the beat on the same beat you know and then um you know it, it, it it's different but when it came to, to Jay Mills and the Murder Mook, you know, basically a cappella. That's how we used to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have beats, like, you know, coming up in the parks and, you know, rhyming in the lunchrooms and, and in high schools and all that. You know, we used to just, who got the dopest lyrics. So, you know, that's what cloth that I'm cut from. And that's what I was used to seeing. And, you know, um, I got a chance to basically capture, you know, um, Jay Mills and Murder Mook, you know, going at it. And, you know, from there, it was just, you know, um, something that, you know, I felt that, you know, needed to be represented. So we continued to basically ca capture that content. Dope, man. And now you're here, right? You're with yeah, the URL battle, yeah. um, you know? coming from pretty much yeah. the, the origin of it all. Um, yeah. You said something that I caught was like, People were battling, but they were doing over the beats. They yeah. were doing over beats. Um, nowadays, people are battling on with or without beats. Since we're talking about beefs, um, let's talk about the beefs inside the battle rap league right now. Um, mm. You got some 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 heated beefs going on right now. Um, well, me personally, the I'm from Jersey, so when Sue Surf and Shotgun was like not not beefing, well, I mean not rocking with each other, that kind of right. hit home. Right. Um, now outside of the the league. You got a lot of rappers going back and forth. So what's the difference between battle rapping in the league and then mainstream battle rap? And and what was your favorite battle rap battle as far as off off the uh outside of the league um that you can recall? Outside of my league? Outside yeah. of you Well just just in general, like like Nas and Jay Z. Oh, like um, um, Nas and Jay Z. Yeah. I mean I, I I appreciate all hip hop beefs, you know what I mean? When they keep it hip hop, of course, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna see, you know, nothing get violent with any of these dudes because they all we all brothers at the end of the day but right. like you know what i'm saying hip-hop is based on competition and you know what i mean you know if you got a personal with somebody i feel that you should definitely you know get your pen game on and you know what i mean basically represent your skills and and and, and go go for yours you know what i mean that's that's what this is based of but you know beanie Siegel, j the kiss is one that really like you know stick out to me like i thought them two was really like you know what i'm saying getting into their pen games and, you know, really going at it in that at that time. Like, you know what I mean? And um 
you know, I, I, I just appreciate good, good lyricism and lyrics from, you know, dudes that, you know what I mean, feel some type of way with, you know what I mean, somebody else. And, you know what I mean, I like the competition and the competitiveness that these dudes display, you know what I'm saying, in their lyrics. Right. Now, has anyone off, like, for instance, when Beanie and just, you said Beanie and Jada, has anybody ever come to you like, look, we beefing on whack. Let's, let's take it to the smack. Let's take it off the, without a beat. I mean, but they different. Like, gotcha. you know, from battle rap is different than mainstream music. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, these dudes that, you know, like our culture of battle rap is different. It's like, it's a different whole style of uh, preparation and skills that you have to have to basically be successful with inside the battle culture, opposed to making a record, spitting on a beat, dissing somebody. It's two different things. You know, some of the battle rappers, you know, can't basically, you know, make songs as good as some of the established major artists that make songs, and some of the major artists that make songs out there cannot battle rap. Like, you know, right. they don't have what it takes to, you know, sit up there and remember, you know, three rounds of written material to perform in, in front of thousands of people and capturing, it, and capturing the attention of thousands of people without messing up and, and getting into your stories and getting at somebody. That takes a certain type of skill that you have to have for you to basically be successful in battle rap. Right, and we saw that when uh, Joe went at Hollow. Exactly. When him and, and M tried to put that, that together. You know, but Joe did pretty good. I wasn't right. mad at him. He didn't all the way, like, you know, he was okay, you know, being, you know, from that other side where, you know, he's a regular artist and he basically made that transition. So I commend Joe Button for stepping out of his comfort zone and letting, you know, the world know that, yo, I could do this too. If I applied my mind to it and he really took his time out to really show the world that, you know, he could actually, like, you know, get it in on this battle culture time. Right. So, you know, shout out to Joe Buttons. But, you know, it was different. Like, you know what I mean? Hollow showed him, like, yo, this is, this is, this is our, this is, this is our culture. Right. You know what I mean? Get up out of here. You know mm. what I mean? So, this it's is all good. M got a new artist by the name of Conway. Yeah. Now, I, don't, I know Beasley spoke on it on Instagram. Yeah. I want to know your point of view. Uh, he dropped a lot of your heavy hitters' names mm -hmm. in the freestyle he did on Shade yeah. 45 one time. Yeah. Um, and you just said it's a whole different type of ball it's game a whole different coming thing, into that but league. But I'll just say, like, you know, we'd we'll love to see him transition. Like, if he, want, if he feel that, you know, he could, he could bang, let's, let's figure it out. You know, the invitation is open. Like, you know, once you once you put something out in the universe, you know, you, you should, you know what I mean, be able to live, you know, live by it and back it up, you know? Right. So has any of your battle and any of your guys who saw that like, listen, can we get this dude in the league one time just so I can eat him up or no one really reached out to you nah, yet? Nah, nobody it? nobody, you know, really reached out because dudes come at these dudes every day, mm -hmm. you know, but and and, and never really want to take the step to really jump in. They'll just, you know, shed their little, you know, opinions and say their little slick comments. And then, you know what I mean, when it comes time to, like, really trying to, you know, get them involved in stepping into the ring, you know, it, it, it never it never works out for whatever reasons. So, you and, know. And why do you think that is, though? Why do you think rappers feel like the battle rap game is easy to come in and jump in and, and annihilate somebody? No, they know it's out. not easy. Okay. They don't. I don't think they think it's easy. I think they 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 more scared of it because you know what I mean. They know that they got you know um, their credibilities on the line, mm -hmm. and um, I think that you know they don't want to you know damage their uh, their 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 reputation. You know, um, I mean, not saying because it's all it's all a sport. Like, so if you do, low, it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, what I mean, we this is this is something that we all enjoy, and this is something that we love to do. So, you know, I mean. You know, but still in all, they still have, you know, hesitations and, you know, they, they, they don't really want to, you know what I mean, jump into this arena. I'm going a, I'm to a take what you just said and transition into a, another question that I wanted to ask you. Um, egos, you said something about people don't want to jump into the sport and tarnish their reputation per se. Um, there's a lot of young rap, young battle rappers in the game that's looking for that big fish to catch. But then a lot of times, big fish are like, nah, I'm not looking to really 
how do you get those vets to come in, the, the vets to, to, to put their ego to the side and, and battle someone who's on the come up um, for a card? I mean, it's all about, you know, um, it's all about the fans, man. Mm -hmm. The fans dictate, you know what I mean, who they want to see. And, you know, it's all about marketability. Like, like right now, it's like I got a lot of hot young cats that's just killing the culture right now. You know what I mean? That is uh, definitely showing, you know, it, it's, 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 this is battle rap. Right. So it's, 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 no, it's, no, it's no real levels in this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you rap, I rap. You know, but I mean, there's are dudes that have established profiles that people know for years and that they love to grow. They grown to love these MCs for years. So, you know, they consider like, you know, what I mean, a hierarchy in the culture. But, you know, I mean, skill wise, you know, there's new guys coming up, coming up and coming out every day that is just as good. They just didn't get the chance to have that marketability behind them and the opportunity to be seen and that's my job to basically you know groom and birth new mcs how do you deal with all these egos i feel like once once the cat comes in and gets a couple of w's under their belt yeah their ego just and then yeah. how do you bring them back down and be like listen i need you to you know bring it down a little bit yeah <laughs> come I back mean, to it, reality it, it, and let, it, let's keep working it, it, it happened it, ha it happened naturally like you know what i mean People feel that they on a high horse until they get hit. And like, you know what I mean? It, it happens. It's just like boxing. Mm -hmm. You win a couple of fights, you're feeling like you're untouchable. You know what I mean? But then, you know what I'm saying? When somebody just hit you with a good blow, you know what I'm saying, and knock you, you be like, oh, you get back to reality. Like, yo, all right, yo, let me focus and, you know what I mean? Let me just calm it down a little bit. But it's, it's the same thing, man. You know? Do you feel that um, rappers, battle rappers yelling out how much money they make per battle? affects you booking other cards like um um not yeah. really you know what i mean because you know i i, I set the budgets on what i'm what what, what what i'm gonna distribute out you know what i'm saying for a card and you know what i mean we live by the budget so you know if it don't make sense with inside those means then you know i mean you know we we, we keep it moving or we will take that offer to the next best potential candidate that you know what i mean we feel that could actually you know put on a show Okay, dope. Cause a lot of times too, I'm like, oh man, these dudes are just yelling out the numbers. It gotta, you gotta be on some like, hey, you're killing me here. But you saying it doesn't really affect. Yeah, nah, you know what I mean? Cause everything is budgeted out, like you know. So, now, speaking of budget, we talked a little bit off camera about it, but I want to talk about it because a lot of people want to know um, about the travel with yeah. um, going to city to city, like how when you went to St. Louis, Averb, Hitman Holla, or like right. going to Detroit. Mm -hmm. Um, and even to me personally, now that Tay Rock is coming up, um, he's from the DMV area, I believe. Right. Um, so, but you've been keeping it in New York um, as of late. And yeah. Why is that? Just because it's more economical for us to just be stay home. You know, a lot of the MCs are, are based in the tri-state area. So it's like, you know, um, it, just, it just makes sense to... And we from New York, you know what I mean? New York is the birthplace of you know what I'm saying this 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 culture and you know we started here in New York with the Smack DVDs and you know that's this is this is our house so you know we we stay here and we 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 more focused here in New York but you know we do branch out when it makes sense to uh go to different markets just because you know we do have a lot of fans in different parts of you know what I mean the country that you know really love what we do and can't make it to New York so we try to you know um go out you know what I mean, of town as much as possible so we could, uh, you know, see different people and give them opportunity to have this experience with the URL TV TV movement. Do you ever see URL going overseas? Absolutely. You know what I mean? I would love to go, you know what I mean? But like I said, once again, it, it just got to make sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It got to be orchestrated properly. So, you know what I mean? You know, you know, it, it's a lot when you're going overseas. You know, you have, uh, you know... Um, immigration problems and you know you got to take a lot of different things into consideration a lot of countries like canada for example is one country that's hard to get into a lot of these dudes may have like you know you know records or history you know what i mean where they won't be allowed into certain territories so you got to take all that to consideration right now 
a lot of shit because I ask that question. I see a lot of other leagues going overseas and doing a lot of overseas work or whatever. Um, do you ever feel some type of way like when you have a card brewing or the fans want to see a card and you don't get to it? I don't want to say get to it in time, but you see it on another card in another league. Is that does that ever like what like a battle? You're yeah, about? a battle. Like a I mean, battle. It happens between two sometimes. People. It happens. You know. I mean, I lost a lot of battles. You know what I mean? A couple of battles. You know, in 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 the midst of you know doing this whole movement, and you you just gotta understand like you're not gonna be able to capture every battle, but like you know like the credibility lies here though. Like we the world's most respected, so like if it really hap don't happen on our platform, it really don't really don't count. Like you know what I mean? People don't even really take it serious. Now, do you feel being that you're the pioneer the the battle rap thing when you see a lot of leagues coming around? Uh, you know how you Obviously, everyone salutes other people trying to venture off and getting into a business that's I, I, that's booming. Obviously, because of your, uh, you know, your past success. But have you opened the, your arms to be like, has anyone come to you ask for some advice on how to run their league, or when you see a lot of leagues, if if they're not being ran right, right? Do you feel some type of way about it? What's your thoughts on other leagues, the the, the numerous leagues that's um, been coming out? I don't out really pay lately? attention, to be honest with you. I don't really pay attention to no other leagues. You know, um, you know, um, there are you know up and coming leagues that do be calling, reaching out, asking me little for little pointers here and there. You know, um, I shed light on them, and you know, just give them you know my my my, my thought and my criticism. And, you know, that's what it is. But, like, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody just do what they do. You know what I mean? And I'm just focused on making sure that, you know, I accomplish the objectives that we got set over here. Like, I don't look and worry about nobody else. You know what I mean? I'm focused. Tunnel vision. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Serious. Most definitely now. I got some battle rap questions I want to ask you. Uh, Daylight um, is a name that... He's he's been on some cards and hasn't showed up to to, to some events. Yeah, um, working with somebody like that. Number one, do you ever see yourself working with Daylight on on future cards? I mean, um, at this time, like you know, what I mean, we got unresolved business, so you know, what I'm saying until you know we uh, situate that, you know, what I mean, I don't think that you know we will have the chance to work with them. Mm -hmm. Like you know, we got un, you know we got to sit down and figure it out, you know, but um. You know, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? It's not nothing never personal, it's all business. And um, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, I don't I don't take nothing personal, it's all business. So, you know, it just gotta make sense. And do you ever have when that happens, do you have uh backup I don't want to say, but backup battles that that you have in the cut? It depends. Somebody doesn't it depends. Show, don't show yeah, up? it depends, you know. I mean it, it all depends, you know, on 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 the situation. Every situation is different. And um you know, it all depends, you know. And and another thing is uh, you promised, I don't know if you promised, I don't want to quote you and said you promised, but Rum Nitty, yeah. you mentioned that you'll be dropping who he's battling at uh, Gnome 7. Um, I don't. I I didn't catch it, but I'm, I'm maybe I could have. Oh, he's battling it. for yeah, when? for summer madness. Oh, summer madness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have you nah. still you still in the works with that or? Yeah, yeah, we still in the works because you okay. know what I'm saying we still you know what I mean it, it ain't it ain't it ain't dried on on in ink yet you know gotcha. what I mean so I hate to put something out there that ain't solidified because then it it is it, it's like you know what I mean. It's it's just not good. Yeah, it's just it's just hearsay yeah. until the thing dries. Exactly. Now, do you feel some type of way um, when you started? I don't want to say the Low Deluxe has been out there that he wants a crazy amount of, uh, of money right now to mm. to battle. I think I saw an interview with with uh, Beasley and he was talking about the number that he requested. At least um, from from the battle rapper standpoint, when they request that kind of money. And you've been working with them for so long, and you've helped boom their career. Do you feel any type of way, like, bro, I didn't help you, you know, flourish, and you throwing these crazy numbers at me to come on cards for the fans? Mm -hmm. um, does that does that hit home a little bit, or? I mean, it does all the time. You know what I mean? But you know, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You know, I could never, uh, you know, I I I can't tell somebody what they feel they worth. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it just got to make sense within the means of what the, what I'm doing with my organization and my association, you know. And um, if it makes sense, then we we could take it into consideration. If it don't, then, you know what I mean, you won't see them on a card. <laughs> right. Or you on or over here, you know. I mean, there's other leagues that be giving people money, you know what I mean. 
But, um, you know, we do what we got to do to make sure that we stay in the means of the budgets that we basically set out for each card. And that's basically what it is. So where are we at right now with the shotgun, Shug and Cassidy um, battle? I know Cassidy said he would like to do it under your league. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Cass, man. Cass, you know, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I never had the opportunity to, you know, work with Cass in a battle space, mm. and that's one of the things that I would like to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, to to add to my legacy, and um. You know, just because he's been, you know, on, on, on battle time for so long and he's one of the, you know, godfathers of, like, you know, battle rap, you know. You know, you've seen the infamous tape with him and Free, um, Freeway back in the days, mm -hmm. you know, that really, like, you know, imprinted him as being, like, you know what I mean, one of the, one of the top elite, you know, battle rappers. And, you know, I, I just want to be able to uh, add that to my legacy. So... You know, I mean, it's all in conversation. We be talking, so you know, um, where's it at right now? It's it's it's, it's not solidified, Man. but uh, you know, it's, it's conversations being made and being had, and you know, we are gonna try, you know, um, my best to you know bring Cassidy over here. I would love to see him with Sugar. I would love to see him with a lot of other people as well too, not just Sugar. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I know them two been going back and forth, so that makes sense right now at this present time. Right. So when the when the fans start requesting it, and you do your job on your end to kind of make this thing work, put it together, um, and a lot of fans been requesting that, so it's dope to hear that you in the works of yeah. trying to put that whole thing together. Yeah. Which is dope. Um, I want to transition into what's going on right now with the Funk Flex freestyles. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of rappers on there, but for the I want to say the last couple of Probably the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of your lot of battle rappers on there. Yeah. Um, when you see that happens, do you when you see that happen where there's a lot of battle rappers getting these platforms, do you feel like, hey, you know, this thing is going in the right direction or Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, I just want everybody to get that proper representation. You know, I think what Flex is doing with the freestyle is great for hip hop. And, you know, it's is is giving, you know, um, you know, these 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 MCs uh, a platform to showcase their talent outside of battle rap, you know. It, it, it's like, you know, it, it's like not enough platforms out here to uh, basically show how you know talented these these individuals are, and you know, you know, building a platform where they could come up and and show the world what they really got mm -hmm. is what's needed right now, you know. So shout out to Flex. And um, you know, we we you know, he, he's definitely holding it down as far as like you know representing for like you know the battle culture. Now, you do know? you do you have a favorite one so far? What flex freestyle? Yeah, Front flex freestyle. Now I like I, I like a lot of them. You know what I mean? I, I I like a lot of them. You know, um, a bunch of dudes killed it up there. Like you know what I mean? So, you know, so, so we don't got a favorite just yet. We just gonna <laughs> yeah. Nah, I, I mean, I, 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 you know, I want to see everybody. Like, I, I want to see more people come up. You know, I want to see people that's not battling go up to flex. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I know that will rip it. You know what I mean? So, so, you know, it's all good. So speaking of um freestyles with Funk Flex, Murder Mook, man, which is my personal favorite right now. Um, Murder Mook and Drake. It's been yeah. an atmosphere for a, a long time, man. What's yeah. what's going on with that? Is there a way that we can make that make that happen? And do you think that Drake is afraid to lose his credibility or be able to get any credibility at all, whether he win, wins or loses um, the battle if he decides to battle Murder Mook at any point? Yeah, now nah, I think Drake is real busy. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't see him really like you know what I mean stepping into the ring. You know, I mean he's an advocate of the of the art form, and he he definitely is a supporter of the uh, you know the battle culture. And URL TV movement, you know what I mean, came through, showed that love. But, um, you know, I don't really think that's going to happen. Okay. You know what I mean? And, now, and if it were to ever happen, do you feel people would look at Drake, even if he does come out there and, and does his thing in the battle rap space because he's been rumored to not write his own bars? Do you think he'll lose some credibility um, from, the, from that battle at all? Or 
if if what if he well did. if he comes out in battle, I know a lot of people saying that Drake doesn't doesn't write his own rhymes. A lot of I mean, uh-huh. I f- I feel like listen, this kid is talented, makes amazing music, sells out shows and records right. over the last couple of years. Right. But being that there's rumors that he doesn't write his own raps, and if he were to step into the battle rap space and and actually succeed going against Murder Moot, right. do you feel it'll be that argument still? Like, hey, Drake doesn't write his own raps. We don't know if he wrote this battle. Well, I mean. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he write his own raps or not. Like you know, what I'm mm-hmm. saying. I mean, you know, he's a, he's, he's, a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a pop artist. Like he a rapper, but he he transitioned to pop where he's like one of the biggest artists in the world. When you're the biggest artist in the world, you have songwriters. You know what I mean? Kanye have songwriters. Beyonce have songwriters. That's just the business. But, like, you know what I mean? Do he have a pen game? I believe he have a pen game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think that he could apply himself and sit down and put, you know what I mean, a, a, a piece of material to, together to, you know what I mean, go at somebody. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, will he lose credibility? I don't know if he lose credibility. It depends on, like, you know what I mean, how he performs in that particular situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh you know, once he does that, his performance, you're going to be able to see, like, you know what I mean, if he's going to, you know, lose credibility or not. Makes sense. Makes makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, moving on, man. URL TV. Uh, URL, the Rap Battle League. Uh, you, I know we talked off camera about the, the growth that you guys are, the potential that you guys see this league, but do you guys feel like, all right, what's next? Are you at that what's next stage right now where you're trying to figure out your next move? If so, what do you guys have in mind? Yeah, I mean, we just basically trying to um, definitely, you know, make this uh, culture mainstream, you know, just raise the awareness of this art form, build our community stronger so people could, you know, um, look at this as its own industry in hip-hop. We we single-handedly build our own industry inside the culture of hip-hop where, Mm -hmm. you know, dudes could actually do something they love to do, travel around the cities, get paid for rhyming, and 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 take care of their families. Mm. So like I, I feel like, you know what I mean, it's this 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 whole culture that, you know what I mean, we've been putting on for and representing is 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 so powerful and people don't really understand or give it the recognition and credit that it deserves. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like battle rap wasn't cool five years ago. You understand what I'm saying? Our energy and concentration that me and my team and my brothers applied to this culture, made it and brought it back to where, you know, okay, everybody is battling. You see TV shows, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, you see battle rap everywhere now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's because of us and, you know, our, uh, you know, energy mm-hmm. and concentration that we applied into this culture yeah because i know you at one point you guys were doing uh, uh freestyle friday before when this was in part yeah. had had stopped um yeah. you guys plan on getting back into tv on the definitely you know that? what i mean yeah definitely in situations that make sense you okay. know um you know we had a good little uh you know preview on, on 106 and park bt you know unfortunately they canceled you know the uh 106 show so you know that's where you know our you know presence lived that when it came to that platform so it went with the show but um yeah we we working right now on we got a lot of conversations going so you know let's see what happens you know dope man dope now i asked you off camera about venturing off into a label situation um because a lot of battle rappers are looking for that we talked about it where battle rappers, some of them just can't make records that get on radio on the mainstream. But then you have those who can, and I feel like a lot of labels aren't given none the proper opportunity. So have you ever thought about, let me put this, put my driving hat on with this and, and, and drive that? I mean, I've been thinking about it. Forward. Everybody approached me with that, you know what I mean, every day. You know, I've just been so focused with just trying to get, you know, this uh this battle culture on autopilot where it's respected and, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But um, definitely looking forward to um probably establishing something, you know what I mean, soon so, you know, we could uh, continue to see these uh, artists, these battle artists flourish in, 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 in a direction where they want to, you know, basically complete their objectives and, you know, accomplish their music goals. 
Dope, man, dope. Uh, sound like, man, you guys are busy over there, man. Summer Madness is coming up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is it, what number of Summer Madness is this? Is it six? Um, six, yeah. Right, last, last year it was canceled just due to, like, you know, all of the things that was going on in the city. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was hard for us to, like, you know, um, secure a venue. You know, um, but now, you know, we'll be back and we're working and it's time to make up. So I'm trying to do Summer Madness 6 and 7 this year. Now, um, you promised two. Are we going to be able to get two Summer Madnesses or it's just going to yeah, be yeah. the Yeah, Summer Madness 6 and Summer Madness 7. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this year alone, both yeah. of them? Yeah, or yeah 2017. There... Okay, and there's, yeah. date, and there's uh, behind the scene dates on both? Um, behind the scene dates. Well, dates that haven't been released. Uh, no to the dates public. have been released yet. Yeah, you know what okay. I mean? We're working on everything right now. Um, you know, we're about to start, you know, letting out the information um very soon on, you know, potential dates with, you know, what I mean the summer madness uh events. Okay. Now um you working on something personal, um uh, an app. Is yeah, you know, are yeah. we able to talk about that a yeah, little yeah, bit? Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Smack Flicks, you know what I mean? It's an app that I'm I'm working on where I'm just going to be bringing back, you know, the Smack DVD feel to the world with some of the newer artists that's out now and have a lot of my I mean, my archive footage, you know, that, you know, was never released and all the old footage that, you know, people love, all the classic old footage that people love and know me from basically producing is going to be on um, that platform as well. And, um... Yeah, it's going to be real, 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 real dope. I need everybody to support it once it drop. And, um, yeah, it's going to be something that, you know what I mean, it's going to be uh, de definitely um, informational. You're going to get a lot of information from from that um, platform because, you know what I mean, I'm going to get back out there and start, you know, doing what I do best. And that's, you know, um, linking up with these MCs and promoting their projects and, promoting their talents i think that vintage footage on there is going to be so clutch though, yeah it's going to be clutch man i just gave them a preview too, yeah it's man crazy, that vintage man. footage is you know, going to be um, something on there yeah i got a lot of unreleased footage that you know i never released before that i think that the world will really appreciate mm -hmm. and um it's just it's just what i do man like I'm, I'm known for representing and producing content so i'm i'm i'm, a, I'm i never forget where i come from and i'm always I'm, i gotta bring it back it's now, about that time. Hey, now before we go, man, has there been a time when you like when they're dropping the gun bars and you like, man, I don't even think these type of guns exist. Do you <laughs> ever had that moment where you like, yeah, like yo, I mean, I, how yeah, many yeah, guns? I do mean, you... <laughs> it, 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 it get crazy. It definitely yeah. get crazy. But like at the end of the day, I appreciate gun bars right. because you know this is what you know we we these kids come from these 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 areas and all these different neighborhoods and this is what they they accustomed of hearing in the music and you know seeing on TV and they just basically incorporate you know all the influence from all them different um channels into their into their material so i just think it's creative and dope mm -hmm. you know but um you ever tell them yeah. to tone it down a little bit or nah no okay. tone nah do go full fledged okay go like you know i want them to have um full creative control of you know what they want to do when they put in their material together you know